let's talk about the future of mankind and TED Talks. We humans tend to give ourselves a lot of value and we certainly don't want to be associated with other animals. Haven't you heard someone say, don't act like such an animal and the penalty for killing an animal is much less severe than it is for killing a human. Why is that? We test all kinds of harmful products on animals without much thought. But doing the same to a human being would be considered torture and it would be on the front page of every newspaper on the world and not in a good way. Yeah, socially, there is an obvious divide. But biologically, what is the difference between human and non-human animals? Not much difference, really. 50% of the DNA of all life forms is exactly the same. And the DNA of humans and chimpanzees is 99% identical. So where is the difference? The difference is in the way we evolved. While other animals evolved mostly physically to survive, we adapted mostly intellectually. We aren't as strong or physically able as our ancestors, but the way we think and our brain capacity has seen a humongous change. Biologically speaking, all that really matters is survival and reproduction. Now, science and medicine have ensured that survival rates have increased. Infants with malnutrition, people with, phys people with physical and mental disabilities, old people, etc., now have a much higher chance of survival. Way more than at the time when Charles Darwin postulated his theory of natural selection. So in other words, the theory of natural selection may not be relevant to humans. Our, inter our interference with nature's uh, selection process has made significant changes to our ecosystem. Overpopulation of humans, disappearance of forests, rise in greenhouse gases, and the polar ice caps melting. At no point in the Earth's history has a single species ever had such a dramatic effect on its ecology. With technology at our side, I have no doubt, humans will continue this tampering further, extending our lives with antiviral, antibiotic, and anti-cancer drugs. We will continue to increase our footprint on the planet with growing cities and populations. We will also continue on our mission to upset the balance of species by increasing the, uh, by increasing the population of domestic animals, pets, and edible plants, while decreasing the population of uh, wild and vicious animals, pets, insects, and plants, and other things that don't benefit us. All of us would, of course, oppose this, right? This is just wrong. We should not allow this to happen. But which one of you will volunteer being labeled a supervillain, ordering the mass extermination of our species to reduce the population? Which one of you will allow a loved one to accept the suffering of cancer without the aid of chemotherapy? Or which one of you will struggle against fitter individuals while having a disability without complaint? As a species, we have never liked to play by rules set by others. We found nature's way cruel and unfair. And therefore, from the day we arrived on the planet, we decided to put an end to natural selection and take the transformation and evolution of our species into our very own hands. We have now decided that we shall no longer remain biological beings or social animals, living and competing with other animals on the planet for survival. We have chosen instead to transform via technology into networked beings connected synthetically. We have chosen to counter disability by augmenting ourselves with prosthetic limbs and organs. We have, we have even given ourselves superpowers. More and more athletes are taking body enhancing drugs. We zip across the planet in supersonic jets and we tinker with genetics at the stage of the embryo to ensure disease and disability free offsprings. Very few of us in the next 20 years or so will be without such augmentation. We would no longer be allowed to call ourselves homo sapiens. We would have evolved to another life form artificially. The smartphone in our pockets has already moved to our wrist as a smartwatch. Soon, it will be grafted under our skin, charged biologically by the pumping of our hearts, nourished by superfoods that keep the arteries squeaky clean. 
our kids will no longer need school since they will have all the information they need. This internal computer connected to a giant database will send signals directly to their brains. There will be no debates, no discussions, since all the pros and cons of any topic will be readily available and therefore already known. And of course, there will be no TED Talks or ideas worth spreading.